what happened was uh, it was in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. So me and, uh, you know, at that time we were wrestling here as a tag team. Don Carson, I believe, was our manager. Me and, me and Tony Anthony were the grapplers. And um, so Tully, you know, the, th the thing is, you know, you're taught from the start, you know, to protect each other from the, like, especially if you're a heel bad guy, right? You, you've got to watch each other's back from the fans because you're out there exciting a riot to get it start with. So if somebody gets, if they get crazy and want to hit you, I mean, you started, the, you started the bullshit. So you better be watching your back, right? It's not, not thinking you come up and start shit and walk off and not care. And, but so when a guy does something, uh, like a hot finish, they call it or whatever, we used to all go out there and watch in case he needed our help to get to the dressing room. And that's just your job. If you don't do that, you're a chicken shit. You know? And so we were uh, standing there. I told Tony, I said, hey, you know, I heard that finish they're doing tonight. Tully is, and we better go make sure he's okay, you know. It's okay. So we're, we're standing there watching. Sure as hell, he's coming back. And, man, they start following him. And there's one great big Mexican guy. And it's in the winter, and he had a big old coat on. And, and um and Tully, you know, Tully's trying to work his way. He's kind of, he's walking backwards, trying to get his way. So they want to get, get to him, right? He's got one over here and one over here. So I said, let's get out there, dude. Let's get out there and help him get back. He had security, but, you know, they, you can't catch everybody. And this one guy decides to take a wild swing. And so we get out there. And as soon as we get out there, uh, the guy's, you know, and the guy, this, this guy's saying all kinds of stuff about his mother. And the guy, he's just way out of hand, right? And then so then as soon as we get out there, Tully takes a swing at the guy. I'm like, you see? <laughs> well, the guy ducked like this, right? And when he did, Tully reached and got his jacket and pulled it over the guy's head. Well, the guy went down to his knees. And I just was right in position. And I just shoved Tully out of the way. And just, I was coming with like two steps. And boom, and just kicked him with that boot. You know, and I didn't realize I caught him that good. And believe me, and I ain't bragging about it, but that boot worked that time. It knocked about his, all his front teeth out split his lip from here all the way up to his eye. And he's laying there out on the floor. And I'm like, shoo, so everybody got quiet. I said, let's get the hell out of here. So we got Tully out of there. We got back to the back. And then they, they paid you cash. So we had to wait to get in line, you know? And so um, finally we got paid and all that. And we got ready to leave. And I, said, I looked out like this, we're leaving. I went, Tony, look, got still laying out there out. I went, holy shit, he's got medics already. I'm like, Damn, so let's get out of here, man. I, I'm saying, please, God, don't let me kill this guy. I mean, I want to know if get at a wrestling match, get killed. I mean, I wasn't trying. I was just trying to stop it. Maybe I got carried away. And so we get we get home, and uh, it was about a month later. All of a sudden, um, my dad gets a <laughs> gets a letter saying that they're suing. No, Tully comes in the dressing room, jumps on my ass. Look what you caused. Look what you, look what you caused, the hundred-something thousand-dollar lawsuit. Well, this is back in, what, 80 something. So, them, that's a lot of money, right? So, I go, dude, I was trying to help your ass. And so, they were pissed at me after that. And then finally, uh, I ended up leaving. And they, um, they sent the loss, they turned it over and sent it to my dad, got a letter, them suing me. Like they're going to sue me. But then I told my, I don't know what ever happened with that. I put a, I told the, uh, my dad said, tell him my son's in Japan wrestling, and I don't think he's ever coming back. <laughs> and, then, and then I went to Corpus about, oh, I had probably six years for wrestling Corpus again. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm looking at my shirt, but I never had no trouble. <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. much uh, forgotten after that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you, you know, this is off the beaten path, but you might like this story. This really happened to me. We, were, <laughs> we had a show in Corpus. Okay, and they said, hey, this, this week we're not going to be at the normal. There's like a Coliseum right over on the, on the, by the beach where we wrestle all the time. It's in a different building. And so I'm going, um, and I said, yeah, matter, no, wait a minute. Matter of fact, it, that was, that was the, uh, the time I went back after six years. Yeah, I'm trying to find the building. I can't find the building. And I'm going, damn. So finally, and I'm running late now, so I go, I look at my seat, and here's the best. Oh, there it is. There's cars all over the parking lot. And I said, man, good house tonight, you know? And so I, I get my bag and I'm trying to hide from the people. I got my mask on, and, you know, like I put it on when nobody sees me. And I go all the way to the back, to, toward, to the back door and I open the back door and walk in like that. And the place is full of Latino people and it's a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> 
and the music stopped. And everybody's like, I went, holy shit. I mean, that just freaked me out, dude. Somebody, somebody's gonna hang me here, man. Yeah. I was at the wrong building. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. that really happened. <laughs>